Previously on Ski's Radical Red Adventures, he evolves one of the brand new 4.0 Sevian Pokemon, Lockix. He also took on two gym leaders and unfortunately lost a few team members along the way. Today he has some more tough battles on the horizon and plans to test out this new Bug Dragon type Sevian Pokemon. We do have a new level cap now though, right? What's our level cap? 34. So that means we have a lot of Evos to do actually. Oh, it is within this level cap. Nice. Here we go, Palmont. Oh, we get a Colossal in this level cap. That's huge. Okay, cool. We're almost at Celadon City, which means we're going to have... Oh, we get Ursaring now. Holy cow. Dude, that's so good. Yes. Sevian Ursaring is insane. Ghost fighting type. But maybe. You never know. Oh, we get freaking Mianxiao too. Bro, yes. Oh my god. This is so nice. All our Pokemon are actually going to be good now. Oh, we have Leaf Guard now, by the way. Oh yeah, let me check all the Mons that evolved. I need to check their abilities now. Leaf Guard. Dry Skin. Oh, shit. Wait a second. That's really good. Because now we're no longer weak to water we have the immunity now holy shit dude this colossal is actually insane now fairy aura powers up all fairy type moves by 33 percent okay we don't have any fairy moves but that's kind of cool rocket grunt it's time for you to meet your doom hey stay out it's not your yard huh me i'm an innocent bystander don't you believe me yeah you're Make it pretty believable, I guess. Oh, it's only level 30. I thought it was going to be 32. Okay, well, that makes things easier. Yes, it is, lands 4.0. All right, we're going to click U-turn here in case you hard switch or click parting shot. If you stay in, then we also kill. So it's like a win-win for me here. It stays in to shockwave. Okay, that's fine. Probably saw that I have like Purslin Berry, so it doesn't want to click... Water pulse, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, that's a dead Persian. So that's great. Um, Let's see. Who do we want to go into now? Probably Hermes to bait either Octillery or Golbat to come out. If I go here, it's probably Octillery to Rock Blast, I would assume. Which is really good for me. Golbat, damn. All right. Well, he sees Air Cutter. Um, How fast are you? 64. Oh, I think I might speed tie this. Wait a minute. It's level... What level is it? 31. Oh, damn. I think this guy outspeeds me. 77 speed. Yeah, he definitely outspeeds me. He's a fast bat. Okay. So he's going to be clicking air cutter here. I should live that because I'm Delta Stream, so I'm no longer weak to flying. I think that's how that works. Um, but I think I'm just going to switch here. I don't need Beedrill taking any unnecessary damage. I think we just go hard Colossal. Should be pretty good here. Nice. Cut it right there. All right. Uh, let's click Rock Blast. This should be... Uh, pro this might be a hard switch out. Probably sees that he doesn't do a lot of damage to me. Could be a hard switch out into either Oinkalon or Octillery. Oh, he just clicks Mega Drain. Okay. That shouldn't do that much to me. There's like zero, yeah. Uh, this is Eviolite, so it's not going to kill. If we get a three hit, we're going to get a two. Okay. I'm going to hit that again. Colossal just sitting on this. No worries. We still have our Citrus Berry as well. Dry Skin, so he's not going to click Water Pulse on me because AI sees that ability. So it's probably going to be clicking Bullet Seed here. Um, Either way, we oh, it could be Rock. Oh, it's Rock Blast here, actually, yeah. So I think we go hard uh, Pomot here. Yeah, Pomot on the Rock Blast. Then we click Spark for the 81% range to Oko. We hit these 80% ranges. Yep, guaranteed Rock Blast, that's fine. It's his skill link though, so it's kind of annoying. Can hit all of its moves. Bullet Seed does about 58%. I believe. So we should be able to eat a bullet seed from this as well. Unless like fuck all the moves crit or something. Okay. 81% range right here. Let's see if we hit it. Let's go palm out. But not least, oink alone. Gonna start stockpiling on me. Um, It does have stockpile body press, but we did bring a ghost type for this. So it really can't do much with that setup uh, against a ghost type. There's a headbutt. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna click brick break here. It's might one shot. It's all good. There's the Figi Berry. Na, 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 blah. Yo, what's up, Lapras King? Welcome in. How are you? GG's to the Rocket Grunt House guy. GG easy. All right, new encounter time. Let's see what we get here. First Nuzlocke. Hey, let's go, dude. Oh, we got a Dondozo. Oh, man. That's hype because I don't have a water type Um, because our only water type was Quaxwell and it's dead. So I'll take a Dondozo. Hell yeah. This is a randomizer, so we do get a random ability on it. Cursed Body. Ugh. Not the best, but I mean, it's not okay. Yeah, and the fishing encounters don't change for the day. Just, yeah, I was just checking that to make sure. The fairy, yes, dude, let's go. First fairy type of the run, much needed. Oh my God. Um, These are all surf. So Old Rod gives us Soul Rock or Jang mo -O. Hopefully we get a Jang mo -O, bro. That'd be so clutch. Soul Rock would be fine. <sighs> Man, I really wanted the Jang Mo O, dude. Oh, we got Neuroforce on this. That's so good. Three star. Raises own and allies accuracy by 10%. We got Victini's ability on this. 
Oh, that was a fast hatch. All right, what do we got? Ooh, a picky pack. Okay. Rockhead prevents recoil. Oh my. If we learn Brave Bird on the on that two cannon, that'll be cracked for sure. Yeah, let's let's old rod it up here. Here we go. We got surfing Pikachu. That's pretty fire. Gives us another water type. A nerve. Oh, wait. I thought that was um unaware. Again, unnerve is not as good as unaware. Yeah, I'm gonna go nighttime. Better chance at a good Pokemon. Missing out on Berserker, but it's all right. Oh, I have repels on. Okay, we get a Fido. Sick, dude. I wonder if da uh, Doc Spun is any good in this game. Ability Feline Prowess? Okay. Damn, dude. I mean, huge power would have been better on this because our attack is way better, but Feline Prowess? Fuck. I don't know. One from all around the world. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. All right, here we go. Oh, it's Duat? What? I thought it was Dartrix plus Simi Sage. Okay. Well, that changes things. Um, So it's last ends. Pokemon first. Both of hers sent, get sent out first, I guess. Okay, that doesn't really make sense, but whatever. <sighs> okay, so what's the plan here now? How fast is the Duat? 56 speed. Um, okay, I outspeed that. All right, we're gonna fake out Dartrix and set up a light screen. Why is Duat not part fighting yet? I thought Duat was water fighting, but it's pure water. Interesting. Pure fighting, that'd be good because I have Psybeam, but whatever. Wait, what'd it use? What'd the Duat do that turn? It has Water Pledge, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, and HP Grass. I did not see what it did. Okay, whatever. Um, Definitely click U-Turn. We want to get Mianxiao out of here. Sludge Bomb on Dartrix. That should get us the KO on it. Oh, you withdraw? It's fine. I didn't attack with it anyways. Didn't attack it, so it's fine. Oh, the double. The double's crazy, bro. But hey, that works because Simi Sage is about to die here. Like, that thing is super dead. So I go into this now with Simi Seer being out. That's actually pretty good that you did that, Loki. Thank you for the likes, Masharia. Do you want Wigglytuff? Da, na, na, na. Wigglytuff comes out. Why Wigglytuff? Can't really do much to both of my mons, so that's fine. We're gonna click Rock Blast on Simi Seer and Sludge Bomb Wigglytuff. Um, the Simi Seer can click Fire Pledge on Dust Talk slot here, um, but we have a light screen up, so we should be able to tank it. Yeah, that's fine. We get a Sludge Bomb off here. Probably does not kill. Poison though, huge. Wave on Colossal, that's fine. Life or boosted. Oh no, it's not life or boosted because or sheer force boosted, I mean. Because um it doesn't have a secondary effect. But anyways, Colossal about to pick up the KO. If we get a three hit, nice. Colossal going crazy. Love to see it. Very nice. Almost get the KO there. Duat comes out. So Colossal is dry skin. So we we have no reason to worry about any water moves right now. Um, which is great. I think just stay in here. Click rock blast and then KO the wiggly tough with a U-turn. Or I just stay in with Dust Talks. I, I really don't even need a U-turn Dust Talks out here, to be honest. But I think I will. Oh, you withdraw. Okay. Into Dartrix. Actually glad I U-turned Dust Talks out there because that gives me a bit more momentum because we could go into Thor now. Either Thor or Poseidon. Probably Thor, though. Thor is probably the best. Here's the Water Pledge. We still have a light screen up, so it does not do too much at all. Damn, dude. Getting a four hit or five? Four hit. Nice. Huge. All right, so Pomo outspeeds. We get the Duat kill here, and then we click Rock Blast on Dartrix. And that should be GG's, man. This battle went very well. Surprisingly well, I would say. Uh, we take that for days, dude. We're new resist that, and light screen's up. And that should be game, unless we get a two hit here. You get the two hit. All right, light screen finally wore off. And that is game now. Finish it off with a spark. G to the G, baby. Oh, you still have one more? What is it, Wigglytuff? Oh yeah, all right, this thing's dead. Bye, Wigglytuff. Damn, dude, that was a really good battle. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait, do we not, we not have to fight them? All right, here we go. Should be the Leap Cremorant. Yep. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fake out the Cram Sash, and then we're gonna spark the Cram and get it out of here. Stick to the original plan. Um. Oh, we just outspeed, okay. I guess I should have. Yeah, that was fucked. Whatever. Broke its sash, so that's kind of why I guess we did that. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Good lord. Okay, we're gonna. After we could U turn, definitely get Thor out of here. We do have a Shuckleberry still intact. Yeah, no, I think we definitely get out of here. Um, Let's. Miensha, who would I go into? Definitely need to get Hades in here. And then I think I go. I would go to Scroll. Can detect here. So this should be a ground move on my head to scroll slot that does good damage to the leap then we go here damn then to me that sucks dude i should have detected oh man okay um i think i need to kill this little leap now i think for the light goal yeah that should be fine actually sped up a little bit started your first nuzlocke Ooh, what game are you playing good luck dude all right that's a guaranteed kill now after the mud shot chip very nice good stuff all right 
Katsugiri comes out. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to get Sevi Nurse Ring out here soon. If I get doubled into, that could be bad. I am running Yache Berry, so I don't think... I get doubled into. How fast is this Nido King or Nido Queen? 69 speed. Definitely outspeeds my Hades. Damn. Do I switch Hades out here? It's getting dangerously low. Really good damage. Holy shit, dude. Oh, <gasps> do I outspeed now? Oh, okay. The Tatsu outspeeds. I made. I might outspeed Nido King. Yeah, I do now. Do I kill? This might be a kill. It's so huge. All right, all that's left is this. Cool. So we're gonna go here now and then we'll click mega drain why am i still on eevee well, on youtube they'd be like why the hell why the hell is he an eevee bro all right this should be dead now we are feline prowess and super effective stab this should definitely die right nice gg what else do you have oh luminion okay <gasps> luminion's still here i forgot um click with a random poke we still have our yacha berry equipped right yeah so we can eat a we can eat an ice beam here go for one mega drain and Scald is here. We take it. Should be a dead Luminion. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. These double battles are going really good. I'm usually not very good at double battles. But we're like killing it right now. Rendin time. Let's get it. Oh, hey, Ski. It's been a while. I've snagged two badges since we first met. You too, huh? I thought so. Let's put each other to the test. Let's get it. All right. Kill Loudred here. We hit. We kill it through Choppleberry, which is huge. We got to get a fake out off first, though. Let's see if he hard switches out here. If he hard switches, it'll probably be into Lunatone. All right, he just lets this thing go down. It's all fine and dandy. Was there a usage for Radical Red? What do you mind? What do you mean by usage? Oh, update. Yeah, there's 4.0 update now. So all Gen 9 Mons from Scarlet and Violet are in the game now. Consistently getting Poké Wrist and Shining Pearl. Oh damn, that's pretty lucky. Yeah, super lucky. All right, Lunatone comes out. Um, I'm assuming I outspeed this so we can get off a U-turn here. Da -da -da -da. I love this theme, by the way. This theme goes hard do out speed so we can get off a u-turn and then we go into our Pontiard here i wish Pontiard had sucker punch that'd be clutch um i'm assuming it's size shock here because he sees kill with that okay um it should be we could just kill now with metal claw with Pontiard now because we do 49 percent min so yeah we just pick up this kill we have chesto for hypnosis and yeah it can't kill me kill me with anything okay he switches out into what crowd on play on his part I see you, big dog. Big Brendan making plays. So this should be... Oh, we broke Sash right there, by the way, which is pretty pretty nice. So what is this? Um, this should be a water move incoming. So we're going to pivot through Dragon type to bait out a knockoff. And then we go into Thor. I should have ran itemless Thor, by the way. Should be fine. It's like a water move here. It should be Aqua Jet. Sevi and Lockix, though. Oh, he knocks off. Shoot. Damn. I didn't think he would knock off there because it's resisted. Shoot. Okay. That's not good because now he's going to Aqua Jet. So I'm in Aqua Jet range. Actually, wait a minute. Lock Kicks does not die to an Aqua Jet here. So we're actually baiting Knock Off again, I believe. Yeah. Okay, nice. We're actually never dead to Aqua Jet. Um, it's like, yeah, it's guaranteed Knock Off here because there's a few rolls of Waterfall of waterfall that kill, but it's not guaranteed. So he's Knock Offing here for the guaranteed kill. So we go here, resist that, eat it. And we have the Ice Body. Please tell me we live in Aqua Jet here. We actually might be dead to Aqua Jet. I shouldn't have ran Magnet. That was a mistake. Did way more damage to me with the item on. Um, I don't know if I kill this with without Magnet now, actually. Oh my god. Why is this fucking Crawdon such a menace? I should have went into Mian Shao there. That was such a throw. I should have went into Mian Shao. Because I would have like faked out into U-turn and that probably would have killed. Do live in Aqua Jet non-crit right now. We are dead to crit. So if we get off a spark here, I wish I had quick attack. What would I do after I get off a of spark? I would probably just go hard Mian Shao and fake out. And that would kill. Mian Shao should live in Aqua Jet, right? Oh yeah, Aqua Jet crit doesn't even kill. Okay. Play. Pomo, just do not get critted here, buddy. Oh, it doesn't Aqua Jet me. Killed. Holy shit. I was dead to Waterfall there. How did I kill there? What? How did I kill? Yeah, Waterfall killed me there. It was a range. 87% range to kill me. Oh, and Spark did 80%. What? I guess I miscalc that. So Spark was pretty much a guarantee kill there, I think, because we do 80% min. I think I miscalced it. All right, cool. Anyways, Sevian versions. Sevian. Uh, we have a Sevian Lockix right now, yeah. All right, so this thing comes in. It's going to be clicking Leaf Blade. So we're going to go into our Swellow here. Should never be Rock Tomb. Go Swellow. Or that's a Pama. It's from Scarlet and Violet. Wait, he Rock Tomb me? Oh, 
control, you little prick. Okay, we'd live another one. 35. I think I live crit too. Um, but yeah, 4.0 of Radical Red has Scarlet and Violet Pokemon now, so there's a new update. Okay, I live crit tomb here. Aerial Ace kills. One is a Lunatone. If you guys want to see his team, it's on the Twitch layout. If you want to come to the Twitch stream, um, all boss teams are on on there visible to the eye um okay so this should be oh yeah we already have this thing pretty weak which is good we just go hard hades now and click shadow sneak and that's that's ggs yeah it's hypnosis i'm chestoberry uh, i live crit here oh fuck i forgot it was i forgot we're fighting type oh my god i'm pretty sure i live crit there but <sighs> nah i think we might have been dead to crit there that was almost a throw i forgot i'm part fighting type on this mon holy shit dude <sighs> I almost fucked up big time. Okay, we got through it somehow. <laughs> I messed up like at least three times during that fight though, and we somehow went deathless. I just realized I haven't been recording the stream this whole time. <laughs> God damn it. So I can't upload this stream to YouTube. Um, I could pull it off Twitch VODs though, so it's not too big a deal. And since I'm actually streaming at high quality on Twitch now, um, the quality is not going to be as bad. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one tomorrow. Take care and um, hope you have a good rest of your night, man.